Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. In this episode, I want to show you how to use the Free Flight Pro app with the Parrot Disco Delta Wing so that you can fly with flight plan uh, through the application itself. So to do that, you load the Free Flight Pro application on your tablet, on your smartphone, and you will see that in this panel is the flight plan um, right there. And the flight plan on the uh, Pirate Disco is not a free portion, it's, it's a pay portion. So you have to go and buy, uh, purchase this flight plan. It costs $19.95. Once you install it, this particular panel so allow you to go in and activate your flight plan. Okay, so without further ado, let's take a look at that. Okay guys, we're back. So now let's take a look at this uh, Free Fly Pro app on the iPad here or on your smart device. For this one, I have it installed on my iPad uh, mini uh, here. So as you can see here, uh, let me open it up. So it's activated. So let's go in and turn it on. Now you're looking at the map of the region. You can download your map to your smart device, um, iPad, iPhone, you know, Android or anything like that. You can download it or if you have a 4G device, you can do this at the field. You don't really need to do this if you have a 4G device. So that's why I would prefer a 4G device so you can do that on a fly. So let's let's take a look at this um, this map real quick. Okay, as you can see, I can zoom in, I can zoom out uh, with this map. Okay, um, I can change the satellite view to street view okay to a regular satellite view as you can see there <clears throat> so first off what we're going to do is we're going to add some waypoint to our uh, autonomous flying system here okay so to do that um, up here where you see the little folder there you click on that folder and basically you want to select new so we're gonna as you can see here i already have one set up uh, on my other flight plan but this one uh, for this demonstration I just want to show you uh, a new one so let's start a new one when you press new okay so it's basically asks you which aircraft are you gonna set up this flight plan for so in this particular free flight pro app um, it supports uh, Bebop drone, Bebop 2 drone, and also Disco. So in our case, is this for the Disco? Uh, I'm gonna touch Disco. Okay. So now I got the Disco, it's in, uh, set it up here. So as you can see here, the title, New Disco. So the first off, we're gonna start laying out our waypoint here. So if you look at this map, it's pretty much uh, water uh, everywhere here right so in this case I'm gonna start flying there's a little park here it's a state it's not a state park it's it's a YMCA park um, it's like a campground um, so I'm gonna start it here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna touch that and it say you know S uh, right there S stand for starting point so now I have I have a couple of things. I can touch it. Now I bring up the sub menu and I go to edit. On the ed edit mode, it actually asking me how high the uh, what is the altitude for this particular point. So I'm gonna start out with 150 feet. Okay, so that is my starting point. Now then I'm gonna draw my second point so I'm gonna kind of fly it out this way I want to go out this way a little bit so let me put my second point is over here 
okay <clears throat> so now my second point here is 150 feet as well you can also using the size slide bar to change your altitude so I'm gonna keep it around 150 feet there then I want my that's my second now I want my third one is over here it's about 31 38 feet so 3138 feet away from my second point to this point and I can also show it um, hold it there and I can also edit that and make it maybe 175 so I want to go a little bit higher then I'm gonna uh, go to the next waypoint and this one I'm gonna slide this here to maybe 130 okay now my and then we'll just keep going here we want to come back to this point so I want to take some picture in that waypoint right there um, then I'll leave that the same height um, and then come back over here um, go go back a little bit higher maybe 170 feet then back over here uh, that's point seven miles away from this point um, this is waypoint seven so I want to slow that down a little bit to one about 150 then so go back over here same thing I want the same height there um, then maybe fly over here into the swamp area here a little bit there uh, go a little bit higher there in case anything higher you know antenna or anything in that area um, then way back over here about the same uh, height and then my next one see I want to come over here and now I can fly kind of avoid all the congestion residential homes so I'm not flying I fly mostly over water and also over you know empty land and then I really, I'll keep it the same uh, altitude then I'm back to this to my landing area here okay so now as you can see let's zoom out a little bit see our flying that's that's our waypoint okay so let's Go back to the last point, last waypoint here. So the other thing that you can do um, now that you can also slide this a little bit. You can just drag it, uh, drag this waypoint and move it up. Okay. Um, now I press and hold. It's going to give me some option here. One of them will be linear landing or circular landing so circular landing if I select that if you zoom in okay on this park so you can see the takeoff is kind of you throw it into the wind and the pie, uh, the disco gonna circle going as a spiral up and then it takes off same thing when you select circular landing you just make sure that this circle it has enough space to circle and lower the attitude itself and land so if it's say it's closer if I put it here it will be landing right on top of that try to land on top of that um, tennis court so uh, this is a football field here so I want to make sure that it's circle around and then land that in the middle of that field so that's the whole purpose of have have this point move to the right 
location. And the other way we can do is that we can select a linear landing. So let's see that real quick. So linear landing, it tells you that it's going to start this descent from here and this point on and it's going to go to this here. So in order to avoid landing in the water, you drag this point way over here. Okay. So now if you look, it's going to come from this direction and it start descend and it's going to go land right there. You can just kind of pull it or put it this way. So now it's going to land right there. Okay. So make sure there's no higher tree here where it's coming down uh, at this point. So as you can see here, if I don't like any of this point, okay, any of this uh, flying waypoint, I can move it. I can just drag it and move it any way I want at that point. Okay, I can adjust it any way I want it. Okay, this way I can just move this guy back out here if I want to. Okay, maybe move it out this way a little bit. Spread them out a little bit like that. Okay. So now the next thing we want to do since, since we already got a waypoint is uh, set and every spot that we want the disco to fly to. Next thing what we're going to do is I'm going to talk to you about how to apply this to our profile, our flying profile. So to do that, we hit this little icon here. So as you can see that, uh, first it's gonna start up, um, launch the craft, and it will videotape. So take the video, start rolling the whole the whole point. Okay, all every one of this, every one of these waypoint, it's gonna video rolling from start to finish. As you can see here, it's finished. Okay. So now what we can do, we want to put a certain point. So for example, what I want to do since it starts from here, when it gets to um, waypoint number five, which is that one, I want to take a picture of this marina. I want to take a nice snapshot of that marina. Okay, so waypoint five, and then waypoint seven, which is right over here, I want to take another snapshot. Okay, so let's do that. How we apply that, and also I'll show you how to adjust the camera angle as well. So remember waypoint five and seven. That's what we want. So we look in here. You see, there waypoint five is right there. So at waypoint five, I want to take a picture. So there's three icons up here. There's video, snapshot, and camera angle. The green one. You drag to waypoint five, drop it there. Then I touch here. It tells me what camera angle you want to start. So in this case, I want to do it at a 45 degree angle. Okay. So you can see my camera angle point down 45 degree uh, here. Then after the point down 45 degree, I want to take a picture. Now from a picture, there's also option here uh, for the picture itself. So you can see there's raw format, there's JPEG snapshot and also JPEG 180. So take a 180 degree angle of the, of the photo. So it also has an interval minimum of 10 seconds because it needs to, if you do raw, raw which is one of the best one, I always use raw because this way you can modify the color, you can take it to Lightroom, you can take it to any type of, you know, a, a Photoshop, you can modify and adjust the color there, very good. Raw is always the best way to do it. Um, that is my preference. But here, 
once you take that picture because the camera need to process it and everything so take it needs a minimum of at least 10 seconds before it can take the next one so that's the minimum set there or you can make it longer which is but you cannot go below 10 seconds so let's select in this case I wanted to do raw picture there so I select that so now it's gonna snapshot it raw for me on that one then I want to do another one on the uh, I said on seven at seven uh, waypoint seven I want to take another picture um, this one I'm gonna do um, a little bit different I'm gonna do a 180 JPEG 180 this time okay and my angle I'm gonna change my angle here to um, 30 degrees till okay so to 30 degree till on that one so those are those are my setup for each waypoint how I want this uh, mission to take picture so if you look over here right there that is the total fly time from the takeoff time to the landing time to that goes through and every waypoint that you set up here it will take 27 minutes and 30 seconds to get back and land okay so that's what it tells you approximately I mean this is the exact flight time now it, one thing within the um, disco it's calculating speed and wind speed on board computer um, to adjust the time the fly time if it's the if you go against the wind it's gonna speed up a little bit more just to fight that so to get that same you know to match up that same pre uh, determined price uh, time fly time so that you so the craft will always arrive at approximately 27 minutes and 30 seconds which is which is I think it's very um, good calculation on board computer calculation there so this is how you set it up um, it's very simple straightforward now when we go back okay so everything looks good there okay so now we're, we're gonna save this so we go we hit we hit save as so I'll give this a title here it's this go Yeah, you can spell. Um, first test. So I call this a disco first test. Save that. So now I got another flight uh, path waypoint here in my in my folder. So in this folder, I have that. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna take it to the field. When we get to the field, we're gonna go to it and we're gonna hit play, and that's when it loaded to the craft. And we're gonna fly. The plan is to have this fly um, by this waypoint, okay, fully autonomous, no touching anything. We're not touching control or anything. Let it take off and land by itself, fully autonomous flight. That's the whole demonstration here. So next, when the weather is easing up a little bit, I hope to take this out and load this waypoint to Disco. And that is my part two of this demonstration. So I hope this helped. Have any question, I'll post your question down below. Thanks for watching.